we are asked to solve for x and y if x plus y equals 6 and x y that is x multiplied by y equals 36 welcome back to my channel let's get straight to the exercise okay first of all from equation one let's call this equation one and this equation two from equation one we can make x the subject of the formula and if we do that we are going to subtract y from both sides of the equation okay so we have that x plus y minus y is equal to 6 minus y okay y minus y is 0 so we'll have that x is equal to 6 minus y let's call this equation 3 all right now if we say that x is equal to 6 minus y that means that if we substitute this for x in equation 2 we are going to have that 6 minus y times y is equal to 36 yes since our x equals 6 minus y so if we substitute that here it means 6 minus y times y is equal to what 36 so let's open the bracket 6 times y will give us 6y minus y times y will give us minus y squared is equal to what 36 okay let's take everything to the right hand side and if we do that minus y will cross to become plus y sorry minus y squared will cross to become plus y squared okay so we'll have plus y squared then plus 6y becomes minus 6y we already have plus 36 here plus 36 is equal to zero all right now the next thing is we are going to try to manipulate this particular equation because we have a target right so this is y squared minus 6 is something as 2 times 3 right so 2.3 times y this plus then 36 is something as 9 plus 27 9 plus 27 is equal to 0 all right um this is y squared minus 2.3y plus 9 is equal to minus 27 if we should take this 27 to the other side plus 27 becomes minus 27 all right now when you look at this this is same thing as what difference of two squares yes now this is the same thing as if you have a minus b all squared this identity is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared so if we should relate this to what we have here our a is what y our b is what three do you understand our a is y and our b is three so this is something as a squared minus two times b a b right plus our b squared which is three squared will give us this that means we can rewrite this as what y minus three all squared the whole of this is equal to minus 27 okay now let's take square root of both sides let's take square root of both sides but before that if this is the first time you're coming across my channel please don't hesitate to click on that subscription button and on your notification bell so that you don't miss my next class okay please comment like and share as well thank you so much now let's take square root of both sides so square root of y minus 3 squared is equal to square root of minus 27 so this square we can see this square root and we have that y minus 3 is equal to now square root of minus 1 is what i then square root of 27 let's leave it as square root of 27 it's going to be plus or minus 27 right yes i let's bring i outside okay now we can write that y minus 3 
is equal to plus or minus this 27. Let's um, simplify it. Now, 27 can be written as square root of 3 times 9. Okay? Then we have I outside the bracket. Okay. So, looking at this now, we can actually write this as what? That's Y minus 3 is equal to plus or minus now, square root of 9 will give us 3. So, we are going to have 3 root 3 remaining. This root 3, is the 3 is already under the root sign. But square root of 9 will give us 3. So, we are going to have plus or minus 3 root 3. I. Okay. Now, we have gotten to this point. Whereby we are going to get 2 values for our what? 2 values for our y. And we are going to use that first, the first case and the second case. To get the values of our x so stay tuned okay and we are still going to prove the solution at the end don't move an inch okay all right now we have that our y has two values now so the y1 is going to be equal to but before that let's just shift this minus 3 to the other side so it becomes 3 plus or minus 3 root what 3 i all right so we now have two cases. The first case is that y1 is equal to 3 plus 3 root 3i. That is, we are taking the plus. Now the second one, which is our y2, is equal to 3 minus 3 root 3i. Okay? All right. Now recall. Recall where we said, you know, initially the question is that x plus y is equal to 6. And we made x the subject of the formula to get 6 minus y. Okay? So we are going to take this. Remember, this is our equation 3. So that x equals 6 minus y. Now, let's use that. But we have gotten y. So let's get the corresponding x. But x is equal to 6 minus y. So in this case, for us to get x1, which is the corresponding value for our y1 so our x1 will be what 6 minus what y1 so our x1 will be 6 minus now our y1 is what 3 plus 3 root 3 i okay so let's solve our x1 is 6 then this minus is going to multiply everything inside this bracket and when that happens we'll have minus 3 minus 3 root 3 i okay now that means that our x1 is equal to 6 minus 3 we give us 3 minus 3 root 3 i so this is our x1 so the y1 is this and the x1 is this now let's get the second values of our x and y we have gotten the second value of y. Let's get the corresponding value of x. So our x2 is going to be equal to 6 minus y2, right? 6 minus y2. Now we can solve this as, let me bring this together. So that I will expand this line. <sighs> Excuse me, please. Okay. So this is it. Now, we have that our x2 is equal to 6 minus... Now, remember our y2 is what? 3 minus 3 root 3i. So, 3 minus 3 root 3i. Okay. So, let's continue. That means that our x2 is equal to 6. Now, minus 3 will give us... Minus times 3 will give us minus 3. Minus times minus 3 will give us plus 3, root 3i. Okay? Now, our x2 is equal to 6 minus 3 will give us 3, plus 3, root 3i. So, this is our x2. Now, it's time for us to do what? Substitute these values into the main equation and see if they are going to give us the solution. Okay. Now, this is the, the question. The question says x plus y is equal to 6. 
and x times y is equal to 36. So let's use our x1 and y1. That is this y1 and this x1 to check. So our x1 is what? 3 minus 3 roots 3i. So we have 3 minus 3 roots 3i. That is x. Plus our y1 is what? 3 plus 3 root 3i. 3 plus 3 root 3i is equal to 6. Let's see if actually this left-hand side is equal to 6. Now we have 3 plus 3. We give us 6. Minus 3 root 3i plus 3 root 3i will give us what? 0. So we have 6 is equal to 6. So this is a solution. Now let's try it in the second statement or the second equation. So in the second equation, we are told that x times y equals 36. So our x1 is what? 3 minus 3 root 3 1. So 3 minus 3 root 3i, sorry multiplied by our y1 is what 3 plus 3 root 3i is equal to 36 so now look at this we have difference of two squares here difference of two squares says that a minus b sorry a squared minus b squared okay is equal to a minus b uh, bracket a plus b now notice that we have same thing here this is this and this they are the same except that this is negative and this is positive that means this can be called our a and this is our b all right that means that we can rewrite this as what three squared minus three root three i squared okay is equal to 36 now let's solve three squared will give us nine minus now this square is for everything inside this bracket yes so three squared will give us nine root three squared will give us three and i squared will give us minus one okay is equal to 36 so we have that nine minus is going to multiply everything here so it's going to be minus nine times three is what 27 times minus one is minus 27 is equal to 36 okay so we can now say 9 minus minus means minus times minus is plus so this is 9 plus 27 and 9 plus 27 is what 36 and this is equal to 36 so you can use the x2 and y2 substitute them into these equations and see if you are going to get the solutions right thank you so much for watching and have a great day Bye.